Ladies and gentlemen, Robert De Niro. Thank you. 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 Thanks, everyone. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matt. And I loved you in the fighter. <laughs> I I know it won't be long before Matt Damon is up here receiving his own Cecil B. DeMille Award. And it will be my honor to present it to him if I'm still alive. So, uh, and I plan to be around for a long time, hopefully. For, for, for. So, the Holly, I want to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, but don't wait, oh, they, they skipped ahead with my, uh, that. Thank you for this extraordinary honor. I was very, very moved and gratified when you made the announcement two months ago, well before you had a chance to review, little fuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw those. It's okay. We all have our jobs to do. Thank you for your tireless work in promoting our industry all over the world. Thank you. And the important thing is that we are all in this together. The filmmakers who make the movies and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association members who in turn pose for pictures with the movie stars. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry more members of the foreign press aren't with us tonight, but many of them were deported right before the show. <laughs> Along with most of the waiters. And, and Javier Bardem. But for the, for the rest of you, I hope your papers are in order because Homeland Security will be checking them just as soon as they're through with the full body scans of Megan Fox. <laughs> and I want to thank Dick Clark Productions for that impressive film tribute. It's going to be hard to pull off false modesty after that. Thank you. Raging Bull, Goodfellas, Godfather II, Awakenings. You know, Awakenings was one of my favorite movies. Great performance by Robin Williams. Uh, I, mean, I just completely forgot that I was in it. But there were a lot of my movies missing from the presentation. Uh, uh, there, would, uh, there would have to be, there have to be when you, you condense a four-decade career into three minutes. I look at it and think, Christ, I made nothing but hits. <laughs> but, but we all know that's not the story. There, there were other films, though, lots of them, and I, and I kind of wish they'd been included, too. I think you would have enjoyed seeing a few seconds of Stanley and Iris. Everybody, everybody's fine. Frankenstein, Marvin's Room, Stone. Some of you would, uh, would be seeing them for the first time. <laughs> most, most of you would be seeing them for the first time. You didn't even watch the screeners, did you? It's okay. Along with this award, I'm, I'm announcing a DVD box set of all the work, of all my work, so that if you've, you've missed, say, Jackknife, the first time around, you'll be able to catch up. <laughs> and I'll be selling them in, uh, in the lobby right after I post for some more, <laughs> more pictures with the remaining members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Uh, these movies, all of them, are like my children, except that my children are more expensive and you can't remake them in 3D to push up the grosses. <laughs> you do the best you can with your children. You do the best you can making movies. At a certain point, you just have to let both of them go and hope for the best. It's, it's up to the audiences to decide if it's entertainment, the critics to decide if it's good, and ultimately, posterity to decide if it's art. And for the children, you just hope the movies do well enough so you can keep them in private schools. <laughs> Thank you for this. Thank you very much. Thank you.